Having just picked up a 5090, I thought I'd do a quick video demonstrating the performance gains over a 4090 in VR on the Pimax Crystal. It's just going to be a quick video, a day race in AMS2 and a flight over New York in Flight Sim 2024. As I say, quick video really because I just want to record the 4090 content, then swap the cards over, see how that baby performs. And honestly, I'm just not going to bother swapping them back for future comparisons. But I will do more content showing performance of the 5090 in VR, especially so once the Pimax Crystal Super arrives, which hopefully is sooner rather than later. But anyway, yeah, enough waffle. Let's just jump in. Okay, so here we are in AMS2, obviously a brand's hatch. Now, everything in the game, settings-wise, is as high as it will go. Nothing can go any higher. And in the Pimax software, I've got it set to high. Personally, I usually have it at medium, which I still think looks amazing, and I get fantastic performance. But obviously, here we need to stress the system somewhat, and so it's high. And in headset, of course, it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's just not a smooth experience. You can see the frame rate here is around 40 FPS. And in fact, I do a few laps and it doesn't really change from that. I'm staying in the middle of the pack. Uh, it's a full grid uh, with all cars visible. We don't need to stay too long on this. You can have a look at my settings there. Obviously, Steam is 100%. Um, you can look at the GPU temperature increasing the longer we play. Okay, I think that's enough. We'll call it 40 FPS. And uh, hopefully we see a marked improvement. Here we go. Okay, so <laughs> 84, 84 FPS. What was I on it? I was on 40, wasn't I, at this point? On the 4090. Here we are on a 5090 over double, over a 100% increase. Uh, I was not expecting that. I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to get my hopes something, I'm going to get that in every game, definitely. But wow. So yeah, you can see as it scrolls through there, you can see res by settings, it's on high in Pimax. Ridiculous resolution and settings in game as high as they will go, including MSAA, which is something I usually have at medium actually. Um, but I've put that on high so that the image is a phenomenal image. Absolutely phenomenal. Well, there we go. You can see the increase for yourself, the settings are all the same, same scenario, and we've got pretty much double or even just a little over double the frame rate. Okay, and here we are in Flight Sim 2024, and I must say that in the Pimax software I have lowered the setting to medium just because with it on high I was getting such ridiculously low frame rate, I don't need to be that excessive. So that's on medium, but in game everything is pretty much as high as it will go, there or thereabouts. The main thing is the settings will be the same between the 4090 and the 5090 for comparison's sake. Anyway, so here we are flying over New York and we're getting around 45, um, sometimes up to near 50 FPS. So, you know, an average of, it says around 47 FPS here. Which isn't too bad because if you lock it to half frame rate in the Pimax software, it's actually a very smooth experience. But uh, yeah, so between 45 and uh, 50 FPS, we don't need to spend too long on this. It doesn't really change much over the course of this little flight over the city. Um, yeah, looks phenomenal. And just keep those figures in mind because now we'll jump to the future and give it a go on the 5090. Okay, so we're in Flight Sim 2024 with the 5090. We were at about 50 FPS for this little flight. We're now up to, what, 68? Which might not sound like much, but, you know, that's the best part of 40% increase. A little less. But that's pretty good. And that's with, so that's with Pimax on medium. Everything in the game on higher ultra, as high as it will go, I believe. I do have DLSS on, though, on performance. I left that on before. Um, just to keep a reasonable FPS. I don't need it, you know, in the low 20s or something ridiculous for this. But we're on a pretty rock-solid high 60s, generally. 
Yeah, that's that's a pretty big increase. With the settings as they are, that's a pretty impressive frame rate. I know DLSS on, is on. Still, everything is readable in here. All the little writing, everything is legible. So, pretty much a 40% odd increase. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Right, keeping this video short and sweet, but come on, who could have expected 100% performance gains in Automobilist 2? And obviously, that's going to be the exception, not the rule. But even Flight Sim 2024 was just shy of 50%, which is just phenomenal results. So extremely happy with that. And obviously the 5090 is crazy expensive, but at least I can flog on the 4090 and take the sting out a little bit. But anyway, as I say, I'm keeping this video short. That's just some numbers for you to compare. Um, for now, that'll do it. Drop any comments or questions below, and I'll always try to answer. But otherwise, I'll catch you later. Cheers.